made the first video of the chylomicron uh, metabolism. So please check that out before proceeding for the VLDL metabolism. Uh, let's just make a pictorial diagram of um, liver. So liver produces nascent VLDL. Now this nascent VLDL looks something like this. It has a central core and an amphipathic shell. This is the central core. And the one highlighted in yellow, it is the amphipathic shell. What are the lipoproteins which are present on the nascent VLDL? These are EPO-B100, EPO-C and EPO-E. Right? Now, the HL molecule is going to donate EPO-C and E to the nascent VLDL in order for its maturation. We'll get something like this. Now, this is known as the mature VLDL. It consists of epolipoproteins P100, C, E and of that given by the HCL molecule. Now this mature VLDL molecule then enters the capillaries. Now we talked about the amphipathic shell and the central core. This amphipathic shell is consisting of the phospholipids and free cholesterol and the central core is consisting of triacylglycerols and the cholesterol esters. A very important enzyme that uh, we discussed about in the chylomicron metabolism was the lipoprotein lipase. The same enzyme is going to work on the triacylglycerol or break it down into fatty acid and glycerol. So upon activation of this enzyme, the triacylglycerols will be converted to fatty acid plus glycerol. This fatty acid is taken up by cell. This glycerol participates in gluconeogenesis. It's a substrate for gluconeogenesis and ultimately glucose is formed. Now the triacyl glycerols are depleting in the core. The size is surely going to reduce. Also, EPO-C is going to return back to HDL molecule. EPO-C is returned back to HDL. Now this mature VLDL molecule uh, will be known as VLDL remnant or intermediate density lipoprotein or ITL. So we'll represent it. It will definitely be smaller than the mature VLDL. This is known as VLDL remnant or IDL that is intermediate density lipoprotein. Now, what is the fate of intermediate density lipoprotein? 50% of it will be taken up by liver. LDL receptors present in hepatic cell, recognizes ApoB100 and ApoE, recognizes ApoB100 and ApoE which are present on the ideal remnant and then it is cleared by liver. Other 50% of the ideal molecule or the ideal particles, uh, they will lose the ApoE. So they will lose the ApoE so we can write here that EPOE uh, sheds in plasma. EPOE sheds in plasma. And now this VLDL remnant is converted to LDL. This is how the LDL molecule looks. Because the EPOE is shed in plasma, we have only EPOB100. Now in the central core of this LDL molecule, we will have cholesterol esters. We talked about it that the central core consists of triacylglycerols and cholesterol esters. So these cholesterol esters if they are desired by the extrahepatic cells, then it will be taken up by the extrahepatic cells. If it is not desired by the extrahepatic cells, then it will be taken up by liver. So a basic overview of what we just read. We read that the liver produces the nascent VLDL, which has three epolipoproteins, EPO-B100, C and E. Uh, for its maturation, HDL molecule, this is the HDL molecule, it, uh, contributes EPO-C and EPO-E, thus helping in its maturation. Now this mature VLDL enter the capillaries. As we talked about, the central core consists of triacylglycerols. The lipoprotein lipase which are present on the endothelium of the capillaries will act on this triacylglycerol, converting it into fatty acid and glycerol. Fatty acid is taken up by cell and glycerol ultimately produces glucose. This mature VLDL will now reduce in size because of increased hydrolysis of triacylglycerols. Also, EPO-C is returned back to HDL molecule. What we now get is a VLDL remnant or IDL, that is intermediate density lipoprotein. There are two fate 
of intermediate density lipoprotein one is that the ldl receptors which are present in the hepatic cell it will recognize the epo b100 and epo e which are present on the vldl remnant and then they are taken up by the liver the second mechanism is that 50% of the ideal molecule goes for conversion to ldl that is first the epo e is shed in plasma then it is converted to ldl this ldl molecule can either be taken up by the extra hepatic cell if it desires or it can be taken up by liver if it does not desire in the next video we'll be talking about how does the ldl molecule is taken up by the extra hepatic cell so we'll focus on this step in the next video thank you guys for watching don't forget to like this video subscribe to the channel and comment down in the section below what you would like me to explain in the next video I'm just sitting here I got time